All right, joining me at this time is a rock band out of Cincinnati, Ohio. You can catch them at the Comet on February 26th in Cincinnati, their hometown. And then the following day on the 27th, two weeks from tonight, you can catch them right here in Lexington, Kentucky, back at the Green Lantern Bar. I'm joined with the band known as AM Nice. <laughs> What's going on, fellas? Hey, how you doing? You got Adam here. I'm by myself. Okay. Well, well at least I got. I'm doing pretty good now. Well, at least I got one representation. That's all good. But uh, yeah, the other guys, other guys are working. I think tonight. Yeah. But I'm happy to join you. That's all good, man. Thank you so much for being on. The first time I've seen you guys perform, it was at the Green Lantern Bar, and uh, Trash Cat was there, and some other rock bands. I totally forgot to remember who they are but <laughs> but it was a good show. yeah it was a good night uh green lantern is one of my favorite spots for to check out local music so <clears throat> it was a good time overall yeah we like that place a lot a lot of our friends from uh up here in cincinnati or other places play there a lot and go to lexington so we heard about it through other bands other bands on records play there so that's how we got hooked up with it it was uh the other band was them Goddamn Bangs was the name of the band, and yeah. we're playing with them again in two weeks down there. I love that band as well. Those, that group is awesome. So uh, to see you guys perform with them again, uh, that's definitely going to be a treat. So how did this band AM Nice came about? <clears throat> um, well, I was playing. I was in sort of in between bands and playing by myself. I always played, uh, you know, kind of in louder rock bands, punk bands, or post-punk bands and stuff like that. And I was bandless <clears throat> and trying to figure out how to play by myself, like as a solo artist, you know, on acoustic and things like that. And I happened to play a record release show for this band called Day Camp, and that was in Newport at Southgate House. And, um, the guys I'm playing with are the drummer and bass player of Day Camp. So I kind of jokingly said to the drummer, hey, when your band breaks up, give me a call and we can play. And he called me not long after that because they were taking a little time off while some band members were traveling. <clears throat> and we got together and started playing then. And so I had uh, like a big stash of songs just set aside since, you know, being without a band. So we got together and just started working through it. And, um, We've only been a band for really about a year. I think we did our first show in like October or November 2014, but the current bass player just joined us in February last year. So the lineup we have now is just a year old, and we just played a couple of shows before that. So that's it. Just other musicians around here in Cincinnati just playing shows together and you know just looking for other people to play with, and it's similar... Uh, interest in music and similar histories in music and a bunch of uh, mutual friends in common and just got it together that way. So you know how, you know, music artists out there or, or fans, critics, things like that, they like to characterize people to make it seem like, well, that this is the type of music that they do, that they perform. Uh, how would you best describe the music of A.M. Nice? Well, you know, it's def there's definitely a, a punk influence in that it's, you know, it's fast, upbeat, and high energy, but it's melodic. Um, you know, we all have a lot of different influences, and listen, we all, the three of us, we're three pieces, so the three of us listen to a lot of different things, you know, um, but that kind of crossroads where it all meets is sort of this general kind of punk genre. So that's kind of how we we write and how we sound, too. I mean, some of our songs are, you know, more clean. You know, it's not all loud and noisy. Uh, it's always kind of as melodic as it as it can be, given that I'm not the greatest of singers. But, um, you know, I don't know to say what we, I think what we sound like, anything from, like, old, Joe Jackson to um, some people say we remind, remind him of Braid. You know, it's kind of like a Midwest kind of post uh, post punk kind of hardcore sound. Um, 
for our, you know, for now anyway, that's kind of the sound we have. So um, I don't know. It's hard to name a specific band. I think some people think we sound like early karate, which is a, a band that was kind of, you know, kind of a funky kind of punk band when they started, and they turned into kind of a jazz band. So that's sort of some of the influences or some of the sounds we have. Well, I will say from getting a chance to see you guys perform in the past, you guys are absolutely awesome. I definitely like the vibe, the feel, and just the fact that you you guys have, y'all enjoy yourselves when y'all perform. Y'all definitely bring a lot of energy, uh, and it's, it's a good sight, and I, I just like the feel of it. It's just very appealing, and, you know, I live in Lexington. I usually, I'm used to seeing a lot of local artists and bands here and there. So any chance I get to see an artist outside of Lexington come drive a long way just to, you know, just to get themselves heard, you know, that's, that's a good, good, that's mm -hmm. a good, that's a good thing to see, you know. You know oh, yeah. It's, it's, it's definitely good that guys like you all, are willing to expand, willing to get yourselves out there, outside of the city that y'all used to perform in at. Well, you know, that's a big advantage to where we live in this part of the country. You know, we talk about that all the time, living in Cincinnati and playing. There's a very strong music scene in Cincinnati. There's lots of music venues, lots of bars played. <laughs> you know, we want to play live a lot. We want to perform a lot. Um, but you can't, even with a lot of venues and, uh, and a big music scene like we have, in Cincinnati, you know, for being kind of a small city, you can't play your hometown all the, all the time forever. So we're lucky that we have Lexington, Louisville, Dayton, Columbus, uh, Indianapolis, Bloomington, and all these different cities, um, you know, really less than, all less than two hours away. And even going beyond that, you can get to Nashville and Chicago and Detroit all pretty, pretty easy. So it's, um, it's fun to get out and play other cities, you know, and we all work. You know, this band is not a full-time thing for us for all day jobs, and we kind of get to do the weekend warrior thing where we get to go out on weekends and play the towns and meet other people and play other venues. And, um, you know, it really doesn't take too much more time than playing in your own city. I mean, you got to load up your car and get to the spot and sound check and do all that if you stay up late socializing so to speak afterwards you really spend about the same amount of time when we're coming to a place like Lexington or Louisville or Dayton or Columbus or something like that so we're happy to uh, happy to come down there and play and uh, it's really fun everybody's really you know they seem like they respect the bands and they take the time to listen and pay attention and come up and talk and hang out and it's a lot of fun I'm definitely looking forward to seeing you guys again two weeks from tonight at the Green Lantern Bar. Uh, and, uh, yeah, and that that lineup is A.M. Nice, Them Goddamn Bangs, and Ford Theater Reunion. And um, that's another thing about playing in other towns is you get to play with different types of bands. And that's a lineup that, you know, those aren't bands that, I don't know, those it's a diverse lineup. I mean, all the bands sound different, and that's a lot of fun for us to, 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 you know, it's not always fun to play with a bunch of bands that kind of sound like you. You know, it's fun to kind of diversify and play with different people, and that's definitely a lineup that's going to be high energy, and, um, but they're, both of those other bands are really talented, and, and, uh, and they sound different, so that's, that'll be a lot of fun. So let's talk about this album release show you guys have. Um, it's, it's one week from tonight, actually. It's going to be at the Comet. Uh, so I noticed on your Bandcamp page, yeah, I got this CD already out. Uh, so is that is is that going to be the celebrate of the album? That's for, that could be heard on yeah, basically, Yeah, basically the, the vinyl. So we, we um, you know, we put this record out with Freight Tree Records. Uh, which we're happy to be a part of. And I've listened to lots of Freight Tree bands. And uh, a friend of ours was kind enough to, that we know that um, runs Freight Tree Records, was kind of to ask us if we want to release it with his label. And so 
you know, just this out, this show, the record release show will be the first time we'll have, have that, um, I think it's a seven song EP available on vinyl, uh, and CD. And, um, and then, so we'll do that and then we'll come in the next night and play Lexington. And again, we'll have vinyl for, ready for the first time. So we had some CDs made up and we're, we were playing out of town here and there. We were, um, you know, bringing CDs along with us, but we just got the vinyl done we got all the uh, the sleeves or jackets were hand like screen printed and had some inserts made and so all that just took many months to kind of manufacture and make. Uh, so excited to finally have those in hand, and it's you know fun to listen to it. We all listen to a lot of records and buy a lot of vinyl, and um, so it's fun for us to be able to put out put out our first release in that format and. Um, so that's what that's about is for the first time to be available on on uh, vinyl and on you know LP, um, you know. But I think you could, I think for a while it's sort of been out there on Spotify or iTunes and on our Bandcamp and on the disc and everything to sort of make it official. So we'll have records to sell in hand finally. Well, congratulations on the album release. I've already got me a copy from the Greenlander show the last time y'all was there so I've already got that and um, and I played one of the songs off the area tonight and um, definitely enjoyed that song for sure um, I'm going to read a post that was made on the AM Nice Facebook fan page which you can like them on facebook.com slash AM Nice Ohio uh, that's AM put together AM nice Ohio all put together no, no, nothing in between and I quote stream the link below this Saturday at 8 30 p.m. for a live AM nice interview talking about upcoming shows on record release and my thoughts on why white chicken chili is still <laughs> is a chili imposter but veggie chili still counts now, one thing Cincinnati is known for, it's known for the chili. So, That's right. <laughs> so, so please, please elaborate further on why chick, a white chicken chili is a chili imposter, but veggie chili still counts. All right. So, I, one, I was just kind of playing around, you know, when you're trying to <laughs> promote uh, yeah. promote your band and stuff on uh, Facebook or Twitter or whatever. you got to, you know, sometimes uh, I have a tendency just to try to... Um, goof around a little bit, try to make it interesting. But that is really an opinion that I strongly believe in. And that comes from um, a place I work would have these, like, chili cook-offs. Mm -hmm. And there was a, there's always a couple people coming in with this, like, white chicken chili or these, like, corn chowder chilies. And uh, in a couple years, I thought I had a superior chili recipe. And I got, like, runner-up or even second runner-up. And these white chicken chilies were taking first place. And I thought, kind of thought it was bogus. I mean, number one, there's no chili powder, hmm. right? I mean, it's like cream and, and, and white beans and, and corn and chicken and all that. So even with the veggie chili, you're still going to put, you know, some cumin and some chili powder and stuff like that in it. So it is an opinion that I, that I have that white chicken chili doesn't count. That's a soup or maybe a stew or a chowder, but it's not chili. And so, anyway, that's, that's how I feel about it. And uh, I don't know, maybe maybe it's being from Cincinnati, I guess. I take it seriously. I used to live in Cincinnati before I moved here to Kentucky. And I know one thing about Cincinnati. They love their chili, and they know their <laughs> chili. I've never eaten much of chili myself, but uh, I thank you for, for your uh, insight. Uh, for, your, for, your, for your chili knowledge, if you will. Yeah. And, and that definitely may convince me for well, the next time I come visit Cincinnati or whatever, I may have to ch check out this chili. You know. Yeah, you know what else I could do yeah. uh, for your listeners and for you is I, I can post up my own, I can post up a chili recipe on our uh, Facebook page for, your, for, uh, for you and your listeners and some of the other uh, friends that follow us on there and uh, that might be a good follow-up thing yeah. from this whole show with you a absolutely absolutely uh so again am nice check them out 
at the Comet <laughs> one week from tonight at Cincinnati, Ohio for the official album release show. And then the following week on the 27th, they are back at the Green Lantern Bar. So, so you support to these guys. And you can check them out, amnice.bandcamp.com. If you want to purchase the debut of this new album digitally, or you just want to wait until the Cincinnati show, the Lexington show, to get the hard copies of the CD. So either way, go buy this record. Self-titled is the name of the album. AM Nice. Keep an eye on them. They're doing big things. And uh, thank you again for calling in. It was great chatting with you. And, uh, yeah, thanks Thanks for having me. And uh, I will see you guys two weeks from tonight at the... Yeah, uh, I'll, say, I'll say what for sure.